today I'm going to show you how to make this picture. This is gonna be our background. We're going to remove this thing actually. We're gonna use this guy, this woman on the water, some sand and lastly we have a bottle. Let's start right away. So we are going to start with the background. So the beach, the beach, <laughs> sorry. We're going to remove this shell. So and we're going to select the shell. It doesn't have to be too precise. It's fine. And take these things too. I don't like them. <laughs> then we go to edition and uh, content aware fill. Click on it. Just erase the beach and uh, the sky can see here how it, it's going to look it's fine so let's click on ok so I think it's pretty cool we're gonna put some sand in there anyway so it's okay just go on the sand use the select tool and just use the automatic Photoshop select then just click on mask you have this let's grab the picture and put it here Click on Ctrl T and try to get a good, good composition. I think something like this is fine. Create a new adjustment layer. It's going to be hue saturation. Just click on Alt in between the two layers and click. Then I'm going to to change the color a bit because I can see here there's some green, some blue. So let's go to, to the right a little bit, remove some color, it looks pretty fine now. Let's put the sky right now. I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger on the... to have some more sky. Then let's go to our sky, dramatic sky over. Now we want to mask this the ground just keep the sky so to do so we're going to just make a, make a square and mask so now let's take the sky and put it up there make it big make it bigger actually let's erase this guy first Just make a square and uh, click. Sorry, Alt and click. Okay, let's make this guy again. This guy should be under the background. Just try to get something you like. Then I think it's pretty fine, right? Like this. Actually, I want the sand to be a little bit up there and bigger, maybe because it, it's on the foreground. Let's see, something like this is fine, I think. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Now we go in on the sand mask, click on the mask with a black brush and really soft. Just make it like 20 and then we're going to erase a little bit of the sand right here just to make it blend with the background. Just softly, not too much, just like this I think, it's pretty cool like this. You can bring back some some of it if you, if you remove too much. Just use the white brush, the white brush is, is to add and the black brush is to erase. Okay, it's pretty fine I think. Now we can do is we're going to the bottle so I have a really easy technique to mask the the bottle so we double click on the layer and then here on the fusion options we're just going to click with alt just to unclip this and go to the left you can see it's, it's getting rid of some of the the white inside just try to have a nice one with the don't erase too much because we want to see the bottle just like this is fine you can see if we, we add a color behind it 
you can see like this actually we need to remove just a little bit more let's go back here something like this it's fine anyway so after this we're going to create a mask and we're going to use a black brush just to erase some like this is fine I think ok so let's take the bottle go back to our composition uh, so Control T make it a little bit bigger going to put it here somewhere on the sand ok so let's go to our mask take something like 30% and now we're going to erase some of it like this on the on the edges a little bit like this here or maybe let's go even further just make it a little bit here lower and erase more of it okay try to put it in a good position something like this yeah I think it's fine now the next step is to make to draw some water inside the bottle so let's create a new layer go to the pen tool going to make something really easy Just start here try to make it a bit round Now you're going to click on Control and Enter, you're going to have a selection, so we're going to fill it in blue, just like this. The next step is to add the woman in the water. Let's get to this picture, put it just like this, and click on Alt in between the two layers, the water layer and this picture. Click, so the picture is going to fill it try to make it look good maybe try it like this don't know yeah this looks fine actually I like it better than the other one we're going on this layer again mask with the black color with a really soft brush and like 20% just erase a little bit of it here Just so it looks like it's on the sand, you know, so we can see a little bit, little bit of the sand. Do the same a little bit here. Because the edges don't need to be so stiff. See, it looks a bit better already. Then we're going to create an exposition adjustment layer for this picture. Go a bit darker. Then Control I to invert the mask. We just go into to add some shadows on the edges. A little bit, a little bit like this. Let's go back to exposition and make the surface of the water a little bit darker. Just like this. I think it's fine. Go back to this layer actually, to the background layer, double click on the mask and get some uh, prog progressive, just add some of this because it's, it was too stiff you know, 
now we're going on this layer and we're going to create a hue saturation adjustment layer clip it and we want some more colors this guy was too dark just something like this and now we're going to do something else just to finish it to make it look even better click on control caps alt and e go to filter and camera row filter then the first thing we're going to do is to remove some exposition going to add some highlights some white we're going to give it some more clarity remove a bit of this remove a bit of colors we're going to add some orange to the to the highlights just like this and some blue to the shadows just a little bit of both then you go to the vignettes you give it a little bit the point of focus is more towards the center play with this try to get something cool it's pretty cool like this I think just play with everything try to get picture you like I'm going to try to change a bit this color the color of the sands so let's go here to tint the yellow go a bit to orange yeah that's fine click OK <coughs> then I want to try something just I'm going to click on the, the image mask and I'm going to erase some of the blue so the picture is going to be going to see this a bit better see I think that's a good idea just to make it pop a bit just like this pretty cool so this is it thank you for following my tutorial I hope you learned something or two and don't forget to subscribe to like the video if you liked it <laughs> and I see you next time thank you